Hello everyone and welcome back to Ori Studios. I'm Ichuga and in today's tutorial we are going to do the third episode of the December package but the last episode on the Aphrodite. In the first episode we dealt with the main event flyer. In the second episode we took a look at the calendar for the event. Now in this episode we are going to look at the performing artists for the event and how to display them in the artwork. Let's get rolling. As usual we are starting off by creating a shape over the, the canvas area and uh, and please bear, bear with me i've just got some code and it's quite terrible so i'll sound a bit nasal but kindly bear with me as we, we we study together now the next thing we are going to do is to drop in the background the famous background for these episodes to fill the page change the blend mode to soft light or somewhere multiply I had to reduce the opacity from 100 to so around say 20 yes that's okay let's select these two things and then put them under lock so they don't move let's drop in this part of the this word And, uh, let's kind of flip it this way take it to the corner and stretch it the next thing is to work on the theme and we are going to use these words afro night and if you have followed the previous two episodes you should be familiar with how it's going to run but for the sake of those who just found this episode we are going to start all over again let's increase the size by bringing out the transform to and uh, convert it to shape all right so let's start with the manipulations that's what we are going to do with this photo we are going to try and manipulate it to make it our own make it a bit unique so we go to select use the direct select tool which is this particular one and then we are going to select these anchor points we are going to select these anchor points and drop them so we just bring it down use the down navigation key to bring them down let's select this part of the f and drag them to this side let's now use the but select two, which is this one. Select the zero and this, and then move them. So we close up the space a little. Yeah, this should be okay. And let's drop this. Let's let's touch on this as well. So we remain consistent with the previous episodes. Now let's use the the path selection tool to select every anchor point here. Press and hold on the Alt key and then drag to create a duplicate of this object here. Let's go back to the direct selection tool and then close up the space here by moving this upwards and then we would use again the path selection tool to select ctrl t to bring a transform and then reduce the size so we can get our dot kind of yeah so this works then again we want to just follow along as we move on the rest is just uh, simple and nothing complicated so I'm going to move a bit fast from here so I don't take too much of your time now let's put all of this in a group and uh, apply some further effects to it 
control G to put it in the group. So let's call it title. With that, uh, let's apply some strokes. Outside, change color to let's say this and increase the size. Now, let's come over here, right click, and select this create layer. So, this stroke becomes a different layer on its own. We want to now move this toss the left, so just select it here and move it somewhere here. So it falls off and I want to apply another stroke on this. So we apply another stroke. This time we want to use a different color and we are going to use something like this which is quite different from what we had previously. So with this done we can probably either put all of this in a group the title and this another group control G to put in a group and okay you can give it any other title we want I still choose to put call it title now with this that we want to now move it somewhere here that's the reason for this space you can use the guidelines to guide your eyes so you don't go beyond certain limits certain thresholds now we want to convert this to a smart object so that when we reduce the size we don't get this stroke it can be too big now let's 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 show how it goes like so let's make it smaller you realize that now the green has become too big and it's overshadowing the effect we did behind so this is what we are going to do let's convert this to a smart object then we can now apply the effect or the transform and it will still be intact the green will be the same it would go beyond the borders you want it to be let's drag it here and I'll turn it a little increase the size a little just so it falls into where we want it to fall into but well, while you realize that this is too flat on the image, it's a green substance or another green substance. So probably you want to add an effect to it and it's easy. You can just go back to the lay this layer, double click on this to go into the artwork itself because you converted it to a smart object. Now we want to pull this one out of the whole thing and now apply a shadow, drop down shadow so let's just apply drop down shadow yes too strong or too big so let's reduce the opacity a little the direction just a little uh, yes so this is okay now because of starts off from the background just a little that's okay so now control s to save once you save it here it will apply here that's that's one good thing about uh, converting stuffs to smart objects now I want to write uh, the words performing actors here so now let's draw some shapes to put in our artist in there yes, this should be okay Uh, let's change this color uh, you can choose any other color but this works for me now we are going to apply some effects on this and then we would uh, repeat the process for the reading artist so let's follow along now with this that I want to drop it by first image which is this image here I want to power clip it to this or clip basket to this. Control T to bring our transformation, reduce the size, take it somewhere here. Should be okay by this. I would now want to change this blend mode to let's say uh, 
little bit of which is okay and then i would like to probably apply a gradient map on this uh, so let's just clip it to this part clip it to this first let me zoom in so you see how the effect is working and then i would now go into the gradient change it break change this or oh, let's let's just change this and make it uh so pick this color here first change this to a darker version like this yes it's okay so basically this is how the process is going to be for the rest first of all clip mask your image to the shape uh, you can either change the blend mode from normal to uh, luminosity or just keep it as it is then you apply the gradient map so follow along if you didn't get it you can play back and look at how it was done then we are going to do the same thing for the remaining images so just follow along Okay, so now I want to add some few tests, put out the name for the artist in there. We can take out this rule lines by, I mean, the, this ruler lines by pressing control semicolon and it will go off. And then control semicolon to come back on. So let's take them off. And then let's name the artist. So any, what's the name of the artist, the location and the date. That's basically the information we want to put across. So we can duplicate the same for the remaining artists, put their names out and and then their location and all of that information. Now we add the sponsorship and the tutorial has come to an end. So we drop it somewhere here. Let's try to align it to uh, bring it to a conclusion. After everything, you can just take a look at it and see if you could balance the spacing. So, you initially realized the space here was bigger than the space here. I'm trying to balance it up, and uh, that'll be it. So, let's see. So there you go, this is how far we've come with the tutorial and this is supposed to be the end of uh, the, the episodes for Afro Nights but uh, the December package continues so I expect episode 4 and that's going to be something different, we might tackle uh, some, something different from the music uh, festivals. Let's, let's take a look at it, uh, let's try our hands on it. And see you in the next episode. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.